Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, in lesson 4.5, um, we're on page 189 of the second grade gold math textbook. And our lesson for today is how to model and record two-digit addition. Okay, so I'm going to read you a problem, and I want you to draw a quick picture to represent the addition problem. So here we go. Now, I do want you to note that we have tens on this side and ones on this side. Remember that when we draw a one in our quick pictures, it's either a circle or you can use a square. A 10 is represented as a straight line. Okay, so here's the problem. Mr. Riley's class collected 54 cans for the food drive. Miss Bright's class collected 35 cans. How many cans? Did the two classes collect? Okay, again, Mr. Riley's class collected 54 cans and Miss Bright's class collected 35 cans. So go ahead and draw a quick picture and add your problem to get, find the sum. And then um, while you're doing that, pause the video. And when you're done with your work, restart it and see if you came up with the same thing I did. Okay, so go ahead and get started. All right, is this what you came up with? 54. One, two, three, four, five, and four ones. All right, so that's 54. And Miss Bright's class had 35. All right, so. What do we have? How many tens did you come up with? You should have had eight tens. Okay, five, six, seven, eight tens. And we have how many ones? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ones. So we have a total of 89. So we can say 54 plus 35 equals 89. Okay, let's look at page 190. Okay, trace over the quick pictures in the steps. So step one, we're going to model 37 plus 26. And we need to ask ourselves as we're doing that, are there 10 ones to regroup? Because if we have more than 10 ones, we need to trade it for that same number of tens. So we have first one, we have 37. So let's go ahead and trace it, as they said. 37 has three tens and seven ones. And then we're going to add 26. Okay, so this is what it would look like in what we would say is our regular addition problem, 37 plus 26. We'd line up the ones in both numbers, and we'd line up the tens. This box up here is for if we have to trade any ones. Okay, all right, so let's look at step two. Write the regrouped 10. Write how many ones are in the ones place now. So what we're talking about here is there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 ones. So we could take 10 of the ones and trade it for a 10, right? Okay, so that's what they're showing us here in step two. So let's go ahead and retrace our drawing. Does it matter which 10 we circle? No, we just need 10, right? We both have three left, three and three, okay? So we would show that in the standard way by, sh the box up here shows that we traded 13 ones for one 10 
leaving three ones. Okay. All right, and then finally, how many tens are there now? Right, how many tens are in the tens place? So we traded 10 of the one, and that left us with six tens. Sorry about that. Six tens. Three from 37, two tens from 26, plus the regroup 10 or the traded 10. All right, so we have six tens and we have three ones. Okay, now some of you might look at this, just this part and said seven plus six, that's 13. Shouldn't I put 13 there? No, we can never write more than nine in the ones place. If we have more than nine, we're going to trade those extra ones as a 10. Okay, so anytime we have 10 or more, we're going to trade for a 10. All right, so let's look at this. Draw a quick picture to help you solve. 26 plus 32. All right, so there's our 26 and 32. All right, so now, are there any ones to regroup? Are there any ones that we need to trade? Well, we have six here plus two more. That's eight ones. So we don't go past 10 ones, so there's nothing to trade. All right, so then we'll just add up the three tens and the two tens. Three tens plus two tens is five tens. So did we regroup anything? No. And so we re really don't even need that box this time, okay, because we didn't regroup. Okay, number two. So we have 58 and we're going to add 24. Okay. Are there any ones to regroup? We have 8, 9, 10. Yes. So I'm going to trade these 10 for an extra 1. So 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay. So we're going to have 1, 10 and 2, 1s when we add up our ones. 12 ones, we're going to leave two in the ones place and trade 10 of the ones for a 10. Okay, so now how many 10s do we have? We have 5, 6, 7, plus the regroup 10, 8. And we can confirm that with our drawing. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 10s, 2 1s. 82. Okay, let's look at page 191. Draw a quick picture to help you solve and write the sum. We have 34 and we're going to add 9 to it. So 9, there aren't any 10s in that. Okay, are there any 1s to regroup or to trade for a 10? Well, we know we have nine ones here, nine, ten. Okay, well, so that means we do have a ten that we're going to trade. So we do have one regrouped ten. And we have how many ones left over? We have three. And that makes sense. One ten and three ones is thirteen ones. We're going to trade ten of the ones for a ten. Okay. Now, how many tens do we have? We have the three tens we started off with plus the regrouped ten. So, 43. 27 plus 24. So, there's 27, and we need to add 24. All right. Are there any ones that need to be regrouped? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 ones. So that means I can trade 10 of the ones for a 10. 
and I have one one left. And that makes sense. Seven plus four is 11. So when we write the number 11, we have one 10 and one one. One 10 and one one. How many tens do we have? We have two plus two, the original, uh, from the original problem. Two and two is four, plus the regrouped 10 gives us five. Okay, 35 plus 23. Okay, are there any ones that need to be regrouped as a 10? Well, five and three is only eight ones, so no. There aren't any 10, so I'm not going to trade. I don't have any tens to trade. So we just have three plus two, five. Number six, 59 plus nine. I'm sorry, plus six. Okay, so there's our 59. And we have six ones that we're going to add to that. So do we have any ones that need to be regrouped as a 10? We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Sure we do. So we're going to trade that one, 10 of those ones for a 10, leaving us five ones. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 is made up of if we said 15 ones, we can trade 10 of those ones for a 10, leaving you five ones. So we have five plus the regroup 10, which gives us 65. Okay. Kim has 36 stickers. Margo has 44 stickers. How many more stickers would they need to have 100 stickers together? All right, so we have 36 plus 44. How many more will we need to get to 100? Well, let's see how many we have already, okay? So let's go ahead and draw a quick picture. 36, and we're going to add 44. All right, so we have 6 and 4. That's 10, right? So we can trade all of our 10 ones for an extra 1. Uh, sorry, for an extra 10. 10 ones, I can trade for a 10 rod, right? All right, so now how many 10s do we have? Well, we have 4 plus 3 plus the regrouped 10. So we have 8. So right now we have 80 stickers. How much is it going to take to get to 100? 80. So we're at 80. 90, right? We can count by 10. 100. So how many tens did we go? We went 10, 20. We jumped two tens, not 20 tens. We were at 80. We went one ten, one set of 10 to get to 90, another set of 10 to get to 100. So 10 plus 10, 20. And let's look at wait, page 192. Write or draw to explain. Chris and Bianca got 80 points in all in the spelling contest. Each child got more than 20 points. How many points could each child have gotten? Each child got more than 20. Combined, It has to equal 80. Well, if each child got more than 20, what could they each have? There's a bunch of multiple possibilities. Let's look at this. So we know that we have to have. Eight tens 
and there aren't any ones. Okay. Well, and then we have two people, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I could break that up to go 40 and 40. That's 80. Okay, they each got more than 20. 40 is more than 20. We could have, we could say, okay, well, this person got 50. One, two, three, four, five. That means the other person got 30. We could say one person got 60, the other person, could we say 60 and 20? No, because that's not more than 20. That is 20. So 60 and 20 does not work. We can't say 70 and 10, okay, because that means one of them got less than 20. We could also use fives ones it just has to add up to 80 and the num two numbers that you add have to be more than 20. i'm just going to go ahead and say they both got the same amount it doesn't say who had more points than the other it just says they got 80 points in all all right number nine don built a tower with 24 blocks he built another tower with 18 blocks how many blocks did don use for both towers. How many blocks did he use for both towers? 24 and 18. We have 24 plus 18. Are there any ones that need to be regrouped as a 10. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, we're going to trade 10 ones, right, for a 10, because 10, 8 and 4 is 12. In 12, we have one 10 and two ones. Now, how many 10s do we have? We have 2, 3, plus the regroup 10, 4. So he used 42 blocks. Did we regroup to find the answer? Yes. So yeah, 4 plus 8 was 12 ones, so we've regrouped 10 ones for a 10, and that left us two ones. All right, so that's it for modeling uh, two-digit two addition. So until our next lesson, I'll see you soon.